Ballymena United and on going on their 14s met at the Dub in Belfast on a cold winter's morning. Ballymena kicking off wearing the sky blue and on going in the royal blue. It was the sky blues that created the first real opportunity. Good play from Ballymena's captain Cameron Eagleson allowed a shooting opportunity for Corey Kyle who couldn't keep his effort down on this occasion. Again, it was the Sky Blues who came forward down the left wing. Corey Kyle crossing, however, another effort going just over the crossbar. As the first half progressed, Dungoyne came into the game more, and this strike from Carter Maxwell tested Jack McClure in the Ballymena goal, who got down well to save. Midway through the half, Ballymena then had an effort cleared off the goal line. Ballymena's number 12, Robbie Spears, turned sharply inside the box and got his shot away with the ball eventually ending up in Reese Kenny's arms. Dungoyne then went ahead in style with his stunning effort on the turn from Carter Maxwell, which ended up in the top right corner. 1 0 to Dungoyne in the 19th minute. As the first half drew to its conclusion, Ballymena were searching for the equaliser. This long range strike from Cameron Eagleson forced another good save from Reese Kenny. Good play from Cameron Eagleson and Corey Kyle allowed another Ballymena shooting opportunity. However, this effort from long range went the wrong side of the post. However, a sign that Ballymena were beginning to pick up more possession and starting to create more opportunities. Into the second half we go with Dungoyne leading 1-0 and Ballymena were awarded a free kick in the right wing position. Callum Douglas took the set piece, which allowed a fantastic opportunity for Bo Stringer, who fired straight at the goalkeeper from close range. Abby Sweetlove's free kick for Ballymena was bravely blocked by the Dungoyne wall. The Sky Blues regained possession and levelled the scoring when this fantastic effort from Ben McCormick flew into the top right corner to make it 1 1. That Ballymena goal gave the Sky Blues a momentum and the shots were raining in on goal. This effort from Michael Leach was turned behind for a corner. Ballymena were enjoying possession in the final third and they took the lead when Ben McCormick scored his second of the morning with another stunning strike from distance just outside the box. A fantastic turn and lethal finish. The final whistle sounded and Ballymena recorded a come from behind victory over Dungoyne. At full time it finished Dungoyne 1, Ballymena United 2. I thought that the first half were comfortable, um, just in the second half, the match was more or less a game of two halves and Ballymena came out and, and got it in the second half with two fantastic streaks to be fair, like, that the keeper couldn't do nothing with whatsoever, straight into the top corners. Like, uh, I thought all three goals today were exceptional. Like. I think over the last lot of weeks we haven't been playing that much and now the game time, it's, it's what it showed during the second half. Um, but. From playing them, feeling the Northern Ireland Cup and getting beat, and then from Cookstown here over the last four weeks, like it's just been a consistency run of games, and that's what I'm putting it down to. Uh, yeah, come from behind, one 0 down at half time. Um, two great strikes in the second half, so it's sees the game to out uh, two one. Um, we said to the boys at half time, you know, to go out, trust the process, just keep be patient and do what they're doing, um, moving the ball fast, move faster off the ball, and and uh, chances would come, um, and they did, and we took them. Two uh, just we've been working a lot of training lately on uh, decision making and uh, movement off the ball more so than on it, um, supporting the guy on the ball and, and things like that. So I think we're starting to see the the benefits of training coming into our match day performances. The second half, the first half, sorry, I thought we didn't just move 
as smoothly off the ball. Um, we didn't find the space uh, in behind their, their midfield and, def and defence. So se second half, we, we challenged them with it. We tasked them, can you get in there? You know, and when you're in there, can you can you make, make it benefit? Um, and I feel we did, we did that.